In this video, I'll be teaching you what to do if your HP Smart Tank 580 is displaying an E4 error code on your printer. And if you don't have this exact model, but you have another HP or HP Smart Tank, then this solution should help you as well as they share most error codes. And this is quite a, a similar issue that a lot of people have. Uh, sometimes if it's just a paper jam that's causing it, I'm gonna be taking you through the step-by-steps of how you can resolve this and what can be done to fix it. So first of all, what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you remove the paper from the back of your printer. So here you'll see I have A4 slotted in there. We're just gonna gently pull it out. Uh, make sure not to tug on it, as if it is a paper jam and it's uh, being caused by the paper that's there, then you may be causing extra damage by yanking it out. So you wanna be careful by doing that. Now we're just gonna have a look down the back where the paper slides in and make sure that it's all clear. So you can see here that there's no paper that's uh, getting in the way. And it's also worth noting the slider here. So you wanna just slide it over to the right and check behind it, as uh, if you slide this whilst there's paper in there, then it can get caught in the sliding mechanism and this could cause you issues. So what you wanna make sure to avoid doing this is um, slide this into the correct position before you begin putting the paper in. So we're just gonna slide that back to A4 and that is now ready for the paper to be installed and we can leave it like that and it won't uh, move. We can just leave the slider there and then the paper can be installed when we're ready. But for now, we'll just leave it out and we're gonna check inside the printer. So what you wanna do is come to the front. Now make sure that the catching tray is tucked away as if it is out like this, then the uh, front door will not be able to be opened. It will block it and you may end up breaking the paper tray. So we're just gonna tuck that away like so and pull this open. Now, when you do so, you'll notice that the power button begins to flash and you get a little notification error symbol come up here. Now, don't worry about this. This is just to acknowledge that the front door has been opened and that any printing jobs that are queued have been uh, paused or terminated until the door closes again. So once it's open, we can have a little look inside the printer and you can see that there's nothing in the way. Uh, if there was any paper that was jammed in one of these components, then you'll be able to tell from here. Uh, it's worth when you get your printer, so if you've just received your new uh, HP Smart Tank, have a little look inside now so you can familiarize yourself with what it should look like. And that way, if something does go wrong, you can identify the issue a bit easier. And then also you will be uh, manipulating the print heads a little bit if you need to change them or maintain them. So they will be just over there. Now this looks like it's all good. Uh, quite a good habit as well that you can have is just to check your ink levels while you're here uh, because it's something that a lot of people forget to check. So it's might, you might as well just have a look now in case you need to top it up. Now, uh, If you do need to top it up and you're not sure which ones to get, HP have put a little sticker here, which is very useful for you to know which uh, ink cartridges you need to buy to replace it. And we can go ahead and close this up now. And when you do so, the uh, error light will stop flashing and the power button will go back to a consistent white light. Now, if you are still being issued the E4 error code on your LCD screen and the solution is fixed, what you can do is just do a little reset of the printer and this should get rid of any of those error codes. So you just want to turn off the printer like so. And make sure again not to touch the printer whilst it's flashing as you could interrupt the process and end up damaging one of the components if they're in motion for example the print head returning back to a standby mode it could uh, damage the printer if you try and move it or adjust it whilst it's in motion now you can see the light has fully turned off we can go ahead and switch it back on like so and then once that light has gone back to a consistent white light you are ready to reinstall your paper and continue whatever you are trying to print. I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And my name is Pat. This is Printers with Pat. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.